Secondly, I very much hope that you will come in a few weeks to Stanford. It might be a useful thing uh, to come and hear the diversity of opinions. But mainly, I hope that you join the move to go to Chicago. Because in Chicago, everything comes together. You know, Chicago is currently run by Rahm Emanuel, who did not allow the Occupy movement to pitch even one tent. And the reason he didn't allow Occupy to pitch even one tent was Rahm Emanuel wanted to make sure that there is no precedent for the May 19th and 20th demonstration against the G8 and NATO. In other words, if they allowed any demonstration to take place in Chicago in November, December, January, then it would have been harder to evict people from, the, from Grant Park during the anti-NATO and the G8 demonstrations. So the reason we need to go to Chicago in very large numbers is not only to demonstrate against the G8, not only to demonstrate against NATO, but also to demonstrate against the capitalist capture of our cities. And mayors like Rahm Emanuel, who masquerade as liberals, when actually all the eyes hacks for big corporations. Mm -hmm. So the reason to go to Chicago is not only to anti-G8, anti-NATO, it's also to say no more this preferred party of the ruling class absolutely insane, but certainly no more the second preferred party of the ruling class, which continues to masquerade as the party of the people, when all it is really is the party of private property. Three reasons to go to Chicago. I hope everybody makes the trek. And finally, my book will be out in a little bit. It's about Libya. And the thing is, it's not just about Libya. It's about the left's confusion with imperialism when it operates overseas. And it's about this thing that Clinton did to us, which is where he infected our brains with the idea that cruise missiles can operate in a humanitarian way. And they infected our brains with that in Kosovo and then in Iraq. And now it has become almost a sanitary, acceptable idea that you can bomb a country to protect civilians. Yep. I just don't even understand how we as human beings can accept that logic. So it's not just Obama. It's not just Bush. It's not just Clinton. It has now become the normal practice in America to accept the fact that our military power is for good. And that is a very dangerous cut into the soul of this country. So thank you so much, and I hope you understand it. Oh, and one.